Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's One Magic, and today I have another couponing haul. I want to apologize to all my subscribers that are not here for couponing. Um, I know that my channel has been directed uh, around a whole lot of different things, and that's because I'm kind of built around a whole bunch of different things. So um, I know I've had a lot of couponing hauls back to back to back, but I'm going to um, have some other things for you guys coming soon. If you have any requests for anything in particular, let me know down below and I do apologize for all the couponing hauls but I have just been like really into this it's something quick and easy that I can record on my phone so yeah I just tend to, to stir towards that but I do apologize and there will be a lot more on variety in my channel so today I decided to take a trip over to CVS it is Sunday April 26th this is the first day of the CVS sale and I was super excited because um, I had a lot of coupons that were for the sale and I've realized that I had I could probably peel this off with a little or any no money down or money out of pocket um, and the thing about it is that there's not really a lot of deals at CVS this week so I wanted to really take advantage of what I could so um, I actually made three transactions um, to achieve the most out of this um, particular will I go back visit to CVS this week no I think that I've done all I can do at CVS for this week you know how they limit your household for one I mean I could do it um, on another card but that card has not been used as much as mine so it doesn't have the value that my card had um, so I will just um, leave CVS on loan this for the rest of the week I will do some Walgreens and Target um, and buy low and, but, and we'll see um, how that works if you out. guys are interested in seeing the deals that I worked out this uh, today for CVS then uh, stay tuned so guys, first thing I want to let you know is I started this transaction with 10 off of 40. Um, they gave me that coupon, which was amazing. I had that. I sent it to my card. Um, also, I had a um, $5 extra buck from a previous purchase. Um, so I had that to use. I also had a few other um, coupons um, that I sent to my so card. So you guys can see there I had a one dollar off of four body wash bar soap or liquid hand soap and I had a two dollars off L'Oreal Paris cosmetics facial or hair care. I also had a two dollar off six mascara or lip purchase that I do not have here. Um, I gave it to her because uh, it wasn't in my summary when she went to look for it so she had to manually put it in and then I have the 10 off of 40 okay so this is my first transaction guys and excuse the candles those are my centerpieces for my table but um, the first transaction was if you purchased any Colgate sensitive or Crest sensitive um, or Colgate enamel health you got uh, with a $30 purchase you got you would get a $12 extra buck with that $30 purchase of Colgate Enamel Health or Crest Sensitive, anything like that. So I decided, I said, you know, um, I have like tons of toothpaste and mouthwash, but I realized that with the $30 purchase, $12 back, I only had to spend eight, $18 worth of actual product. Um, and I had so many coupons, it was just relentless. So I decided to dive in. I got these here. So I got um, the Colgate Enamel Health, and I got uh, three of them in the four ounces, the Sensitivity Relief. And I got one of them in a larger, just for the pricing, so I wouldn't have to buy a extra product. So this one is 5.5 ounces. And um, the rest of them are just four ounce. The and the Crest Sense Enamel that I purchased is 4.1 ounces. Okay, so that is a total of six two paces that I purchased. So here is my receipt. So as you can see, I purchased the Colgate. I got three of them for 4.49. I got the longer one for 4.5.49. And I got the two Crest Sense Enamels for $5.99 each. So that got me to my $30 goal. So I achieved my $30 goal, which means that I would have received a $12 extra buck. So here, this Dial Complete was on sale the, um, is on sale this week, two for four dollars. There is a one dollar off of two uh, 
coupon that I received in my newspaper inserts. So I used that. So that made it two of these three dollars. And then I had this coupon from CVS, a dollar fifty off of four, which then and hence made those two dial completes. Um, subtract dollar fifty from the three dollars, which made them two, both of them a dollar fifty or seventy five cents each. So that was a great deal there. The Sarah View. We had a Sarah V coupon on Facebook on their Facebook page, which was six dollars off of one. I was able to print two of those coupons, but they only had one in stock. So I got this one. It was six dollars and forty nine cents for the hydrating cleanser bar. Unfortunately, the coupon did not ring up, so she had to manually input the coupon because she read all of the terms and this bar soap did apply. So let's look at the total coupon of uh, receipt breakdown. The dial is there. It was two for four, so they were two dollars a piece. All of the toothpaste purchases are there. The Sarah V649. You'll see the four two dollar off coupons, the one dollar off coupon for the two crest, because I used the one dollar off two, and the Colgate I used two dollars off of one. The one dollar off for the dial soap, and then the six dollar off for the Sarah V. Now I had a five dollar extra buck. And then I got my 10 off of 40, and then I got my 150 off of 4. So out of pocket, I only had to pay $8.43 with taxes, 67 cents. My total out of pocket was $9.10, and I received a $12 extra buck. So, okay, guys, so this is transaction number two. Okay, so I received that $12 extra buck, and I could have saved it, which... I wanted to but I noticed that there were a few other things that I could go on ahead and get uh, just to get you know what I mean so I decided to get these things here now the tenna pads are on sale two for ten at CVS there is a two off of five uh, coupon in our coupon inserts for this today that we received in our newspaper so I took that which made them two for five now when you buy two you get three dollars let me excuse me you get two dollars in extra bucks back so in sense this would make this three dollars now this l'oreal infallible two-step is on sale for 10.99 i had a three dollar off one coupon which would have made it 7.99 I had two dollars over here in my CVS coupons at two dollars off of L'Oreal Paris Cosmetics facial or hair care and then I had a two off of six mascara or lip care and I decided to use it on this purchase so then I so I got another four dollars off of the $7.99 which made this $3.99 okay this, I got the Meta Bar. The Meta Bar was $1.49, and at the Red Box, you would have gotten a coupon for $1.49 off, would have, which would have made it free. And then the last thing I got was this 2% milk. This milk was priced this week at $3.89. So this was what I used my $12 extra buck on. Let's look at the receipt. With this receipt, you can see here focus so the ten of whites were five dollars each they were two for ten the uh, metamucil bar was a dollar forty nine the l'oreal infallible ten ninety nine and then i bought my son a hershey kiss candy bar which was a dollar nineteen then you'll see the milk was three eighty nine so first thing i have is the manufacturer coupon for the ten uh, pads three dollars off for the l'oreal uh, lipstick four dollars CVS coupon which were the two um, hmm. I'm not sure why I have a four dollar off coupon 
I think she might have put that one in wrong, y'all. I can't remember why I had four dollars off. But anywho, um, it was supposed to be two dollars off. I think she put it in wrong. So uh, then I got the twelve dollar extra care buck that I used. Two dollars off any L'Oreal product from that CVS coupon, and then the dollar forty not dollar forty nine off for the Meta Health Bar. So my subtotal was zero uh, seven cents. I paid two cents tax. My total out of pocket was nine cents. And if we add that with the last one, which was nine dollars and ten cents, now I am at nine dollars and nineteen cents out of pocket. Okay, so let's move on to transaction number three. For some reason, I cannot save extra care bucks. I don't know why. I need to start saving them. But I had to spend that little two dollars that I got back from the Tina pads. And I got this Brookside uh, Golja and Raspberry Flavored Dark Chocolate. And um, the the Redbox coupon machine gave us uh, $2 off of one. And then, of course, the Arizonas are on sale this week, two for $1. So I'm let's sorry. look at the receipt. So it's three seventy nine, and then it's $0.50 cents for the watermelon, Arizona. So then I used the $2 extra care buck and I used the $2 off the Brookshire Goya. Subtotal was $0.29 cents and tax was $0.01. Cent. I paid $0.30. Cents. So if you add that with the $9.19 that I've already paid, the total is $9.49 out of pocket today. So that is what that looks so like. So as you can see, I received all of these items for an out-of-pocket of, of $9.49 today at CVS. Now, that L'Oreal lipstick is $10.99 by itself retail. And I purchased all of this for $9.49. So guys, you can do this. If you are not doing it, you need to do it. It is not too hard of a job to do. The most of these, I, the majority of these coupons I received in the newspaper today simply purchasing a newspaper I purchased I, I got one delivered and I went and purchased three more newspapers this uh, for today so I hope this guys help I hope this helps you guys out in your couponing if you want to know uh, my organization and my tactics and my techniques or how I go about these things let me know in the comment section. I don't mind filming a informative video for you guys to help you out. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.